Today, we're going to look at Palmer. I'm going to show you how to set it up on TrueNAS using Docker Compose right now. Looking at my TrueNAS dashboard, the first thing I want to do is set up a data set. I'm going to click my data sets tab on the left side, click into my configs data set, and then on the top right, hit the big blue button that says add data set. I'm going to type in the name for Palmer, and I'm going to go ahead and give it apps permissions. Then I'm going to go ahead and click save. After your data set has been created, you should see it here on the left side. And on the right, your permissions should look something like this. Once you've gotten that, go ahead and jump over to apps. In my case, I'm going to open Dockage, but you can use any container management system you'd like. I'm going to click on the web UI to open up Dockage. Next, I'm going to want to start a new compose file called Palmer. I'm going to remove all of this test compose stack right here. And I'm going to jump over to the wiki. You can go ahead and type in Palmer at the top search bar and click the result to jump to the Palmer wiki page. Go ahead and copy the entire block of text under deploy Palmer go back to Dockage and paste it. I don't have to change anything because this is my volume mount that I created, but if your pool's name something different, go ahead and change that here. Once you're done, go ahead and hit deploy. During deployment, you may see a lot of these lines, one slash two Palmer starting be patient. If you see that, do not worry, this is the correct thing, nothing is broken, but it will take sometimes up to five minutes to start this container. My container is now up and running. I'm gonna go ahead and click the little pill here for port 5487 and launch into the Palmer UI. I'm gonna go ahead and click login in the top left and enter some information about who I am. Once I'm done, I can create an admin account. Now let's log in with the user I just created. After I log in, I'm greeted with a dashboard. On the top, I can see my storage usage total, the files, shares, and receive files buckets, any recent uploads I've received, and any recent shares I've created. Let's go ahead and take a tour of some of these features. In my files, I can see any files that exist within Palmer. Anything that I've uploaded or anything that's been sent to me, I can see here. Let's go ahead and create a new folder. I'm gonna call this folder Pix. And within this folder, I'm gonna upload a file. In this case, I'll take a screenshot of this screen right here and upload it. Once I've uploaded it, I can see the big green check and I can go ahead and click finish. And there is my screenshot of the dashboard. When I jump back out to the dashboard, now we can see in a recent upload, I can see my screenshot. And when I click the My Files bucket, I can see my folder and I can see the screenshot. I have the opportunity to download it here or just close this window. Back on the dashboard, I can go ahead and share that file if I want to. Let's click on the My Shares bucket right in the middle and create a new share. I'm gonna call this Test Share. I'm gonna choose to password protect it. I'm gonna set the expiration date on it for tomorrow and I'll give it a maximum of five views. When I click Next, I can see the files that exist on the server right now. I can share my entire Pix folder if I want or I can go down and select any file within that folder. Let's create a share from the screenshot I uploaded. Jumping back to the dashboard, I can now see a recent share show up in the center console. If I click the view all button, I'm taken back to the shares page. On the three dot menu on the right, I can go ahead and view the details of the share. If I wanna make this public, I can go ahead and generate a link by clicking this little pencil icon next to share link, and I can even customize the end of the link. I wanna call this screenshot and generate this link. Notice that's my private IP that's pushed because right now this is not behind a reverse proxy manager like Nginx or Cloudflare Tunnels or Pangolin. If I had a fully qualified domain name and this was behind a reverse proxy, this would show up with a fully qualified domain name here. Let's copy this and jump to this page. Here we're greeted with the password protected share screen because I've chosen to put this file behind a password. When I enter my password and hit submit, I can now see my test share and I have the ability to download my file. I have the option here to receive files as well. If I click the receive files button all the way on the right, I can create a link to receive a file upload from anyone I want. We also have some additional customization options for this page. When I click on the little A, on the top right, I can click customization and I can change my theme colors, the typography that's being used, border radius and background colors. I also have the option here to go into settings and change some other things like the application logo, the application description, the application name, and to even turn off the homepage app for installation. I can add an email server here if I'd like, OIDC authentication providers built in, changing the security if I'd like, and changing the file storage configuration. All these settings make Palmer very customizable for a simple send, receive, and upload file manager. This is a lot of customization while at the same time keeping the interface relatively simple. I hope you guys have liked this tour so far. I think this is a really great application to deploy. It's very simple. It does what it does very well. It's highly customizable and the UI is very clean. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel so you know when other videos like this are coming out. If you wanna have a conversation about this, go ahead and jump on our Discord for servers at home. 